Like and subscribe right now, or you're going to have terrible luck for the next week. Ancient and extinct animals are coming back to life, guys, and we could soon reunite with our long-lost relatives, the Neanderthals. Uh, hardly. Attempts to resurrect Neanderthals present numerous caveats, ethically, morally, and scientifically. But scientists don't see why we shouldn't bring back animals that went extinct, particularly those that vanished due to human causes. It's a shaky topic, folks, but we're determined to show you just what the modern science of cloning can achieve. 100M presents 10 Extinct Animals Bioengineers Are Ready to Bring Back. Also, be sure to stay to the end of this short video to find out just how close they are to putting a real T-Rex in Jurassic Park. Number 10. The Caribbean Monk Seal Today, you won't see the monk seals that were native to the warm Caribbean. We humans hunted them down to extinction. The last confirmed sighting of the extinct monk seal was way back in 1952 spotted at the Serenilla Bank. NOAA's Fisheries Service searched exhaustively for the seals for about five years before falling back and officially declaring the species extinct in 2008, affirming human causes as responsible for their extinction. But all hope is not lost for these seals yet, as scientists are looking to bring back the species even as their closest relatives, Hawaiian monk seals and the Mediterranean monk seals, are all critically endangered and face extinction themselves. As conservationists up their skirts to protect the remaining monk seal family from the same fate that the Caribbean brothers suffered, scientists are analyzing more DNA samples extracted from century-old Caribbean monk seal skins found in museum collections, hoping to bring them back from extinction. Number 9. Chinese River Dolphin These dolphins swam freely in the Yangtze River of China and thrived in their freshwater habitat up until 2003 when their population dwindled so fast they had to be declared functionally extinct. This meant that whatever few river dolphins remained couldn't reproduce enough to bring their population back up again. Other species of river dolphins in the Amazon River were also declared endangered by 2018, and they are likely facing extinction as human activity, particularly fishing, threatens their population. In 2015, a five-year moratorium on fishing was introduced to protect the Amazon River dolphins, but since the start of the year 2020, the suspension ended and the dolphins came under even more serious threat across Latin America and Brazil. As scientists are trying to conserve and protect the Amazon river dolphins, the same cannot be done for the Chinese river dolphins. They were declared the first cetaceans to be driven into extinction by humans. Scientists are now looking to extract the Chinese river dolphin DNA to replicate it in an effort to de-extinct them. They are hopeful that the project will be more than likely to succeed since they have a recent DNA material to work with. Number 8. The Pyrenean Ibex Can you believe that this wild goat once roamed the Earth until as recently as 20 years ago? The Pyrenean Ibex could be found mostly in France and Spain's mountainous regions, but their numbers fell quickly and only a hundred or less existed in the 1900s. The last of its kind, a female going by the name Celia, died after a tree fell on her in January 2000. There's no single reason drawn to explain their extinction, but scientists believe a combination of poaching, encroachment, diseases, and competition for both food and habitat with other wild undulates are likely to have led to the fall of the Pyrenean ibex. All hope was not lost, however, for scientists managed to clone this species using DNA obtained from the frozen skin cells of Celia, the last Pyrenean ibex. The de-extinction attempt of 2003 was a success, a short-lived success at that, since the first cloned extinct animal lived for only one hour after it was born. But scientists have everything they need to do it again, this time with better results. For now, it's back to the drawing board on the Pyrenean Ibex de-extinction project. Number 7. Irish Elk Here's a majestic 2 meter tall, 700 kilo deer with its beautiful, enormous antlers. The Irish elk, so wrongly named for it was neither exclusively Irish nor was it an elk, is perhaps the largest deer to have ever walked the earth. They are now extinct, with the last of these giant deer believed to have died in Ireland around 11,000 years ago. These deer roamed the whole of Eurasia and were believed to have lived as far south as northern Africa. Its extinction isn't linked directly to human activity, rather, they are believed to have been vastly affected by the changing subarctic conditions of the last glaciation. Unable to adapt to the climatic changes, the last of these remarkable deer fell. There is still hope for them, however, as there are quite a number of well-preserved fossils of the deer in museums around the world. Preserved specimens were readily found in melting permafrost in the icy north where the last Irish elk lived out their final days. DNA analyses have already begun and the most valuable information obtained was to settle the matter of whether these imposing creatures were deer 
or elk. With that settled and having determined that red deer and fallow deer have similar genes to our de-extinction candidate, scientists are now ready to bring back our dear Irish elk. No pun intended. Number 6. Dodo The arrival of Dutch sailors who colonized the island of Mauritius led to the extinction of the dodo birds endemic to the island nation. Once the birds would roam the island freely but were quickly outcompeted for food and habitat after the invasive settlement of the Dutch settlers. The birds had never encountered humans before and were fearless of the invading species, who had developed an appetite for the birds and their eggs, as they were so easy to get. In less than 75 years after the first settlers in the island nation, the dodo birds were gone. The last of these giant extinct pigeon family birds died on the island over 300 years ago, sealing the fate of the dodos. Today, the dodos, like other bird species, including passenger pigeons, hoya birds, and the moa, stand out as the modern icons of human-triggered animal extinction. Scientists are now ready to right the wrong and talks of dodo de-extinction have already begun. In 2007, the only remaining dodo skeleton was discovered and since it was preserved quite well, scientists were able to extract valuable DNA samples. And by January 2016, the whole genome of the extinct bird had been sequenced, making dodo bird de-extinction a possibility. Number 5. Moa the very large flightless birds of New Zealand, moas, could reach heights of 4 meters and weighed more than 200 kilos. They were reckoned to be the largest bird species known. These ostrich-like birds were the favorite prey to the also extinct Hass eagle. The harrowing tale behind the extinction of moa birds, like with the dodos, involves the arrival of man to New Zealand. The Maori people who first settled in New Zealand hunted down the moa not just for food, but also because the moa's primary predator would frequently snatch and fly away with human children. By wiping out the Hass eagle's main source of food, they hoped, the baby-snatching eagles would no longer stay in the region and their children would be safe. And so here we are now, trying to correct the error by bringing back the animal which we made extinct. As scientists and researchers have already kicked off with the necessary processes for possible revification of the moa, all we can do is hope that the ancient bird will be able to fit into the modern ecosystem. Number 4. The woolly Rhinoceros Once endemic throughout Europe and Asia, the woolly rhinoceros is one of the animals that fell during the period called Quaternary Extinction. They had thick, sturdy legs and a dense woolly coat, which made them well-suited for the cold tundra environment. This fluffy creature is believed to have lived in the Arctic snows until as recently as 10,000 years ago. Just recently in 2015, the carcass of a woolly rhino was discovered frozen in the Siberian ice, and scientists were amazed at how perfectly preserved the 12,000-year-old specimen was. The specimen belonged to a baby woolly rhino and was nicknamed Sasha, after the hunter who found it. Naturally, the fluffy rhino went up on scientists' radar for a potential candidate for de-extinction. Researchers also hoped to determine the animal's placement on the mammal family tree using the DNA they would extract. While it's quite possible that we might see this fluffy rhino once again, the road ahead is still fraught with difficulties. Number 3. Sabertooth Cats Here's a character Ice Age movie fans would get a chance to see in the not-so-distant future. The giant cat is one of the most famous prehistoric mammals, and they were distinguished by their long, curved, saber-like canine teeth, which grew out and protruded from the mouth, even when closed. They look intimidating, okay? But scientists are determined to bring them back to life, and there is a good chance they will be successful at reviving this particular animal since they went extinct not so long ago, about 10,000 years. Fossils of the saber-toothed cat and other Pleistocene-era mammals can be found at the La Brea Tar Pits of Los Angeles. These fossils will be crucial in the cloning and possible de-extinction of these cats that once lived in North and South America. They are believed to have been wiped out in the transitional period of climate change called the Quaternary Extinction. Scientists say they might have feasted on the early men with whom they coexisted in their final days. Um, now that I said it, do you think we need to bring this one back? And in today's best pick, we have a picture sent to us by a subscriber just like you. It shows the frozen mammoth specimen discovered in a remote part of Siberia, which scientists are analyzing for the de-extinction project of the woolly mammoth. Let's find out more. Number 2. Woolly Mammoth 
Geneticists at Harvard Medical School have already partially sequenced the nuclear genome of the woolly mammoth using DNA material they extracted from fossilized bones and other ancient remains. They are also analyzing the mammoth specimen discovered frozen in 2013. They say that the 10,000-year-old mammoth was well-preserved in the permafrost since they were able to obtain mammoth blood samples for the first time. They are hoping that the samples would yield enough undamaged DNA material to fast-track the de-extinction project of the giant creature. Also, proteins and nuclear genome sequence extracted from older mammoths who died up to 60,000 years ago also are proving instrumental in understanding how these animals lived and died. Currently, the plan is to use mapped nuclear genomes of the creature to edit the DNA of the Asian elephant, the closest living relative of the woolly mammoth. If they're successful, they will have created the first hybrid of the Asian elephant and the woolly mammoth. And soon, we just might be able to interact with these beloved characters of the Ice Age movies. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you'll get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it. It really works. Number one, T-Rex. Now, here's a controversial one, but we're not making anything up. Scientists actually found a way to recreate these terrifying extinct reptiles. You'll remember that the concept of dinosaur resurrection was put on the table when scientists discovered mosquitoes and biting flies preserved in amber for millions of years. Shortly after, scientists hit a snag because the amber did not preserve the soft tissue of these insects, and subsequently no ancient DNA of the terrible lizards could be recovered. For a long time, it looked like cloning dinosaurs was off the table due to the difficulty in finding viable DNA. And according to a 2012 study, we could only extract recognizable DNA sequences from organisms that lived and died within the past 7 million years. This is due to the high speed at which an organism's genetic material deteriorates. But recently, early 2020, Paleontologists from the Chinese Academy of Sciences were able to find original protein cells, chromosomes, and chemical signatures consistent with the DNA of a dinosaur from a tiny 75 million year old fossil they had discovered. The tiny ancient fossil belonged to the baby hadrosaur called Hippacrosaurus. While a far cry from the terrible lizard Jurassic World would charge a premium to see, Scientists are hopeful that the discovery would open up a window through which they could peek into the Mesozoic era, the age of the T-Rex and other dinosaurs. You made it to the end of the video, but hey, we'd love to see you again. If you click the subscribe and bell buttons, we'll always notify you when a fantastic video just like this one comes up. We have a lot more that you will enjoy. You can start by checking out the two already showing up on your screen right now. Keep it 100.